Hello everyone, Mari Therese Lawler here. So I wanted to talk about uh, my volunteer teaching um, program with Maximo Nivelle. Um, I volunteered at Foundation Mohair. So when I first arrived, I had an orientation with my field manager and we went over what the program was going to entail, what my duties were, and I learned some basic um, TFL, TEFL lessons, um, how to teach, and um, it encompassed about four hours maybe maximum, and um, I really was able to get all of the information that I needed to learn in order to volunteer teach. And I also got a tour, and uh, Maximo Novell has all sorts of resources um, I found where the books were, the supplies, toys, guides, um, and I also was able to use some of the resource books, um, but I ended up using Google for the most part, and then um, Wikipedia, um, all sorts of sites about grammar, and I also ended up getting um, like a business English book um, that I was able to get exercises from, and then also like an um, like an, a beginner English book and also got exercises from both were really helpful I absolutely love those books and um, I'm glad that I had those to use so I um, use the computer labs a lot at Maximo Novell um, they had a computer lab for uh, anyone who wanted to, you know, use the computers to uh, create lessons. Um, and then I sent my lessons to the front desk to have them printed out. I also had my own computer, so I just used that at home um, and, um, you know, uh, did my research there and everything. And then um, sometimes uh, the computer labs, but I always had to send my files from my computer to the computer labs and then send it to the front desk or something and so I was always forever at the computer labs and it was a really cool place to be um, great place to hang out and uh, really do everything that you need to get done and then um, I also you know had them print out copies so you could print out like a copy and then you can have them make copies and I usually had like five to seven copies because I had like five students to seven students depending on the day um, the class structure, um, I started out the class with an icebreaker, so we, the class and I got to know each other or once we've um, gotten to know each other, uh, we would talk about what we had been up to lately and um, you know what I did over the weekend, things like that and what they did over the weekend and then um, we started out our lessons and then during our lesson we would do activities on the board or on the worksheets. Uh, we also had really awesome discussions and uh, our discussions helped me gauge how fluent my students were and um, you know that really helped me learn more about uh, you know um, such and such needs to improve on pronunciation and um, such and such you know is really good at um, grammar um, but needs work with um, the flow of you know um what he's trying to discuss um or someone is really good in pronouncing everything really really well however um you know he needs to work on um usage um choosing the, the perfect words uh for you know um constructing his sentences um so the lesson design, um, I gave out reading materials once in a while. I printed out articles from Wikipedia about like places to go to, like Japan. That's where we had started off our lessons in. Um, like I talked about where um, I had traveled to and I asked them where they had traveled to and um, I got information about what they, what countries they wanted to learn about. So we read a little bit about Japan and um, other countries, uh, also um, famous uh, athletes, things like that, and I would have them read like a paragraph each, and then we would uh, all read, and um, that allowed me 
to you know um, hear them uh, read and um, it that helped me learn about you know what words they needed to um, to well, what words um, we needed to go over so certain words um, I had to go over the pronunciation and then um, I would write it down and then the next day I would um, have the list of words that you know they were having problems with and um, we would uh, define the words and then use them in a sentence um, and kind of discuss the words a little bit more um, because some of the words were a little bit tougher on Wikipedia. Um, I also tested their reading comprehension by asking them questions about the reading materials and um, yes, I think, you know, my classes went well because uh, my lessons were engaging and um, I tailored my lessons according to what they wanted to learn about. And I think that really helped keep them engaged and um, it really helped uh, the flow of the class overall.